everyone. Welcome back Hello. to another session of Rifts. Mm -hmm. And as and always... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. It's, no you, you say it. It's oh, all good. A, as always, we like to uh, go through our um, the art that people have made for us, which is always outstanding, uh, over the past week that kind of goes over the last session. So we shall start with the Lizard Mage. Oh, God. He doesn't Tyrath, look like this. The eternal undying approves. <laughs> Gonna have He's <to>. adorable. <laughs> See? <laughs> this is cute. This is hilarious. But now I've completely all, all fear and awe of the real Tyrath is now destroyed. That's I don't okay. know. Thank you, Internet. Thank I think you. there's some awe there, at least. Yeah, there's a yeah, different <laughs> kind of awe. Next, we have... Uh, this is uh, made by Kinsey. Um... We're not quite sure, and she's also not quite sure <laughs> what scene it's from. We think that's Al listening to music and thinking soon. Not sure. <laughs> well, but... <laughs> we got up to interpretation. Yes, it's like the it's magic eye of riffs. To Just stare at it and figure it out. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next one we have is um, last week's session when uh, Mila fell asleep and uh, Al tried to catch her and failed horribly and oh yeah that's right why didn't you catch me i tried <laughs> is that one uh and then there's uh al after he got the lightsaber and he started uh, and they said you can find out if your friends are holograms he started poking tom <laughs> no stop that's that's I, I just love tom's face in that no yeah like the arms too like yeah <laughs> this is um if you remember last session there was a point where nor was really pissed and al actually said if it will make you feel better you can slap me this is an alternative universe where nora took him up on the offer <laughs> <laughs> go nora uh <laughs> then we've got nora sitting at the wall <laughs> staring at the wall trying not to kill everything <laughs> oh nora <laughs> And this is uh, Mila climbing trees. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. yeah! It's like it's like Bilbo Baggins <laughs> climbing out of the trees. Yeah. All right, yeah. and uh, this one is the cop that told Mila she could go climb trees, <laughs> or, or highly suggest that she climb some trees. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it was so awkward. And this was uh, something that uh, Adian uh, drew when Patrick, and of late, Patrick's been rolling really well, except for just now. Um, Patrick's yeah. been rolling really oh. well, and it's just a, 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 a dice couple being of dice. Dirty yeah. flirts. It's like, oh, girl, have you seen that, Patrick? Yeah, let's lo roll low. <laughs> uh, and there's actually one more I, I forgot to actually pull in here. Um which is, uh, oh, hang on. We've got more coming now. Hang on. We've got uh, Brace Yourselves characters are being made again. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, Kriana's got some. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> and then uh, Gurr has made another one of the, um, one of his fantastic comics that I highly suggest you all go read because it's always amazing. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well done, everyone. And, again, I know we say this every week, but it is humbling and uplifting and amazing that you guys do this. So, thank you. Mm -hmm. yes, thank you, thank all you. of you. Uh, and anyone who ever feels the need to uh, make fan art, just you can always uh, Twitter it and just put the hashtag Riftyfell, and um, we will we'll see it. Yeah, showcase it and spread our love to you. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. All the love. <clears throat> so, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the session. Uh, I've started releasing these little handy-dandy uh, session synopses. So uh, hopefully you've all you know caught up. You all remember what happened last week. Uh, so before we start with the session itself, are there any questions that you guys have as players or...? Um, what mm -hmm. happened last week? Where did we leave off? I really can't remember. That's okay. We're, we left off at the beginning because there was four days left in New Laszlo before right. the Endless Storytellers were leaving. Uh, we burnt through the first day. So we were on the second <gasps> yes. day. Yes. Okay. That's yeah. right. Patrick had his whole thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now it's now coming back. Now it's yes. coming back. There it's we go. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> Copyright flag. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so yeah, so any uh, other questions other than what did we do? <laughs> I just, I just, I just want to bring to light these bullet points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Julian wanted to play kissy face with Mila, not punchy face. Be on your toes, homies. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's yep. just it. from the word of God himself. <laughs> yep. Yep. So uh, no, uh, <clears throat> no I'm, I'm, oh. there, yeah, there's things that I'm sure we all want to do, but I'm fine with questions wise. Okay, great. Well, then let's start. So it's the beginning of uh, the second day, or I guess I should say the third last day here in New Laszlo, if you choose to leave with the Endless Storytellers. Um, so, uh, as mentioned before in the notes, as just a friendly reminder, not that you have to follow up, but you guys were wondering about that uh, young man that you assisted when you first arrived to New Laszlo, the one who had some sort of possession in his arm. Um, whose whose name is Hanso? Uh, you were going to follow up with him. He had an appointment around ten thirty at Mirna's House of Healing. Uh, so if you all choose to go to that, fantastic. So you have you know a few hours in the morning to do some miscellaneous stuff beforehand. Um, and of course, there was that meeting with Nathan around four o'clock as well. But other than those two meetings, you're not. Uh, scheduled for anything else in particular so is there anything you guys would like to particularly do right early in the morning other than grab yourself a bite to eat or uh you know have a conversation with each other uh yeah al would actually like to chat with patrick okie dokie uh so i guess it could be during breakfast mm -hmm. um so um patrick you yes. I, well, I kind of wanted to talk to you. You know that I want to learn magic like you do. I, uh, I don't do magic. <laughs> no, no, I mean you want to learn magic and I want to learn magic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am, um, well, this whole body change thing has got me thinking a lot about what I know and what I think I know and how I've viewed the world up until now because of my past with the coalition. And they, as you, I'm sure, are well aware, are not fond of magic. And I grew up also not being fond of magic simply because that's what I was taught. And I was taught that technology was king. I, um... I want to change. Patrick kind of like bobbles his head back and forth like, yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like, I kind of want to use this as an opportunity to see the other side and to learn what I don't know. And I'm wondering, because you know so much more about this subject than I do, are there magical alternatives to, for example, body armor? or um, weapons, or just other things that I can... I want to, how to put this, immerse myself in the world of magic as much as I can to learn what I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, the, body, the, the, the suit of armor I usually wear around is pretty much the equivalent, probably even better than most uh, normal... Uh, body armors and for weapons, I only really have the 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 ring for for I guess testing purposes. Al, 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 when you say the body armor, he perks up for a second and then his face gets kind of downtrodden. He's like, "Is there anything less clunky? <laughs> Maybe like uh, like the the ring we that 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 we have somewhere that's supposed to protect us. Is there anything like that that works? You mean the bracers? Is it the bracers that do that? Yeah, it's yeah. bracers. The, like the bracers, something like that. That's less because the armor is fantastic looking, but it's also not well. The most oh, it's very mobile. light. Yeah, Al still looks kind of anything <laughs> other like other, or or maybe you know of a place that we could go shopping, or you'd go shopping with me to look for this kind of thing. Um, best place would be here. Um, knowing magical item prices, it's going to be extremely pricey for anything that's even close to what I have. Um, and even for the the bracers that, um, that would shield you. For a decent amount of uh, physical um, damage, I guess, um, would be pretty up there in price. Are we talking like beyond our capabilities? Um, I'd just say if we tried to buy an equivalent to 
the 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 sparkly armor thing that would probably wreck up I, if i had to I guess a probably credits. a million and a few million credits yeah so i was like 3 plus oh, million okay. credits oh gosh all right um <laughs> what about like the bracers um aren't bracers they fairly be... protective Yes, not as much as normal body armor, though. And there's only a limited quantity before it wears out. And we'd have to recharge it at cities just to... Uh, how how just does to, it work? To, because to, I might be willing to sacrifice some defense oh. for that kind of thing. Oh, I, um, well, uh, it is a, it is a uh, magic word to activate it. And then it has a certain amount of uh, charges. Charges. I was trying to figure out if it was specific psychic or um, no. Just no. Nope. It's just the charge that's in the gem itself and that little pearl. I uh, add a character in Inferno because I know you told us once. Like, what does it do exactly? Because I might even consider sacrificing some defense for this idea. It's. <laughs> it, if, uh, yeah. Go ahead. You have it probably roll. You probably have it right there, uh, Piff. So go ahead. If I remember correctly, it is basically a shield that's around you, and I believe at the moment it shields for 40 mega damage. And how many uses before it's out? Um, it actually no. has been used already. It, currently, it's it's 40. But well, we, yeah. As... Well, would you go shopping with me? I mean, maybe there's nothing, and maybe I'm kind of out of luck for now, but I'd like to at least look. Uh, sure. Uh, when would you like to do that? Whenever you're free. Oh. Um, I mean, obviously I we have that uh, appointment this morning, um, but after that I should be free. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to do uh, one thing this morning, uh, and then after that I should be free for a shopping session. I think that should be fine. Okay, thank you. Cool. <clears throat> All righty. Uh, any other conversations, anything else like that? Do you guys want to talk to Mila yet? Yes. Yeah. Wait, what happened to Mila? No, we have to <sighs> we have to brace her. Yeah. Oh. Explain stuff to her. <laughs> I'm gonna be in my <laughs> workshop. <laughs> oh dang it. Alright. Tom so, we should start yeah. trying to talk to her. Yeah, we should. <clears throat> Mila? This is how I colored. Hooray. Mila's just like drawing pictures and like not really paying attention to anyone right now. Uh, the paper has words written all of it. It says uh, Norton Big Hat for some reason. Um. <laughs> um, Mila, we need to have a serious conversation with you. What? Nothing, nothing <laughs> she, bad. She, she pulls oh. off headphones. <laughs> uh, Mila? Yeah. We need to talk to you. Oh, okay. Nothing bad, just we want you to be prepared. Um, prepared for what? You know Tyrath the Lizard Mage, yes? She blinks at you. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, let me just start it this way. Tom and I need to change our appearance soon. And I don't mean just our hairstyle or our looks. We are actually going to look like completely different people. And we don't want this to scare or confuse you. But we will look like these different people forever. Oh, but you're not going to change your hair? Or... No, no, what? no. The hair will change. We'll look like a completely different person. Someone you've never seen before. Why? What? She she blinks at you some more, looking really confused now. <laughs> Al looks at Tom helplessly. <laughs> um, we essentially will be. We will be the same people, but we will just not look the same. You know what I mean? But how, I don't understand. How can you look different if you don't change anything? That doesn't make any sense. 
No. Are you guys going to be wearing masks? Oh, I can make you a mask. I can make you a real good Mila? one. <laughs> what? No. We are going to look completely different. Different hair, different eyes, different face, different hands. Everything will be different. And he'll hold up She's his metal eye hand. This will be a real hand, not a metal one. This will she's be a real like, eye, not a metal one. Yeah. Looking really like she's kind of almost like grabbing her head, like trying to understand. Mm -hmm. uh, so how, what? How? How? I don't understand. How can you do this? Magic. Okay. Here's here's an idea. Because I don't Why do want you need to change so much? I thought I thought we were just gonna give the the fake people, the fake you to to, to Norton Big Hat, and then <laughs> everything will be good. Uh, unfortunately, Mila, that won't work. I can't give what? the fake me to him because they'll know. I have to give the real me to them. And in order to, Mila looks incredibly upset right now. Oh, uh, Mila, Mila, Mila. Let's make this simple. You're our well, friend, right? Well, well, you're, you're, you, you, you're, you, what? <laughs> oh, no. Mila, this is something we have to do for our own protection. Otherwise. No, 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 that's losing. If you give him to, if you, if you guys go to him, you're going to get killed. No, Mila, that's the best part. They'll think we lost, but we actually win. <laughs> what? We have to make them think that we lost. So we're using magic to convince them. But in order to do that, we have to look completely different. They have to think they killed us. So you're gonna look different. She's like covering her face now. <laughs> By giving them yourselves and somehow with magic, you're gonna... Win after all, I, 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 yes, you can't be at two places at once. Al, yes, I, it's, I, uh, Mila, my head, Mila, my head, Mila, my head. Mila, how about la, this? La, 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 Mila, la, 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 la. yeah, is hi, there, Al. hi, is there some way that maybe a password or a phrase that we can know, you and I and Tom? That if we tell you this, you know it's us, no matter what we look like, whether we're wearing a mask or a costume or anything, you will know it's us. Do you want to see my picture I drew? She's going to, like, go down and, like, pick up the paper she's coloring on. It just has Norton Big Hat written all over it and <laughs> a giant cowboy's hat. Can I? <laughs> can, that's amazing. Can I have the picture? No. Okay. <laughs> she kind of holds it back. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> All right, Mila. I know this is confusing. I know this is hard, but we have to talk about this. We are going to look like different people, and we don't want to scare you. You keep saying you're going to look like a different person, but you're not going to change your hair. No, you're not going to... I am going to change my hair. But you said... Ha but what I meant what? was I was going to change more than just the way my hair looked. I was going to change everything. And at the same time, you're going to go to the bad guys? No, I won't. But it you said that they won't believe you unless you go. Al, like, thinks for a second. You're really I... bad at explaining things, man. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. <laughs> Al, Al, Al just sits back and crosses his arm and looks at Tom and goes, well, then you go. All right. Okay, Mila? Yeah, yeah. Mila? Okay, mm -hmm. what Al is trying to say is through the use of magic, and then he's going to do some jazz hands <laughs> so that it's, like, sparkly and everything. Um... <laughs> Through the use of magic, we'll be able to duplicate our bodies and give the coalition bodies that look exactly like us. 
but in order for them to believe that we are no longer a threat, we will be changing everything and anything about us. I will be older. I will be taller. Al will... Well, I don't know what Al will be, but he's going to be completely different as well. But we will still be the same people. We will still be your friends. We'll still be the people that fought alongside you, that... Are you going to be made of you... robots now? N How are you no. going to get duplicates of yourself? You can't just do that. I know this place is pretty big and you can bri probably buy pretty much anything, but, like, they but, have but... music. We can go get music if you guys want. Is that what this is all about? No, no, no. Um, do you like you remember... my picture, Tom? Yeah, it's great. Yay! Do you remember that that guy? What, out of character, was she even around when Tyrath came out? Yeah, in any I don't know if it was Mila or Nora at I'm that point. I'm pretty sure it was Mila because yeah. was, I, I, I want to say it was. Yeah, yeah, so when Ty Tyrath first showed up, it was definitely Mila. Actually, all the times he showed up, it's been it's been. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to drag this out. I'm just trying to play in character. No, play, no, yeah, play, I know, I know, no, I know, play in fine. character as long as you want. It's all good. <laughs> yes. Don't worry about it. Okay. You you remember that big guy that the other day um, appeared on our table? You know, the one that talked kind of like this. And the Oh, you mean Tyroth the Unusual? <laughs> yeah. <Fuck you. laughs> yeah, Thanks. him, him. He he is going to help us. Um, he has some wondrous magic, and that's how we will be able to fool the coalition. But we're Tom and, or Al and I just wanted you to know we'll still be be the same people, but we will look but different. If he can just duplicate you, why do you have to look different? Why can't you just look like yourselves? Because that's who you are. But if the Coalition sees us, and we look exactly the same... But they have the fake bodies! Yeah, if they still see us at all, they'll try and kill us. They'll know Why that we're not Why would you want to be older? I don't... Well, and, and he's going to look kind of bashful for a bit. I, I just... I, I want to be older. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Well, okay, if that's it, it's just he's gonna get you to new... Yeah. Can he... He can make people? Uh... Uh... He, yes. he can... Yes. Yes. Al, yes. Like, Al looks at Tom, <laughs> yes, he can make people. <laughs> he can make people out of thin air. Okay. Okay. She's kind of like slowly understanding now. <laughs> okay. Love her, don't tell her the truth. <laughs> oh, God. So. Oh. Do you guys like my picture? Yeah, it's great. I love. Yeah, your I'm gonna go Mila. put it in my room, and then Mila runs off. <laughs> I guess it ends that conversation, right? Yeah, <laughs> Al's like, well, that, that was well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go be in Patrick's workshop. <laughs> All right, next scene. Yep. <laughs> Okay. You see Patrick on his workbench, and he looks like he's trying to um, put on casings and things like that. Oh, Al's just gonna probably go sit somewhere. <laughs> he's All just... right. For for what I'm trying to do for the GM, um, I said that I would make a, a program to do this, but I have yet to actually make the physical part that would try to get um, the. the it does not have a receiver yet, and I'm trying to make a a basically a receiver that I can put into my portable computer, probably through uh, USB. Okay. Uh, well, sorry, did you guys have a particular scene in mind, or were you guys? No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. Here, no. That's just stuff that you're doing. Uh, it seemed to work for Patrick, so Al was going to try it too. 
Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Well, if you'd like, guys, we can just move on to the next scene. If you guys don't have anything, you know, in particular in mind, we can just uh, go ahead to when you show back up to Mirna's House of Healing, if you sure. like. Okay. Yeah. Um, should mm-hmm. I use electric? Should I? Should I? Do I need to use a skill, or do I just make it? Um. Yeah. Let's do a skill check. I do make it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you don't have any problems figuring out logist- lo- the logistics. Awesome. Okay, so now is everyone coming along? Sure. Uh, yes. Sure. Okay, excellent. All right, so you once again enter the Amirna's House of Healing, uh, to which you, uh, through the hustle and bustle of the few other individuals there waiting for treatment or the psychic healers, you definitely do recognize the face of Orlando Honso, the ginger-haired, awkwardly uh, long-haired, thin, pallid-faced individual uh, that you uh, initially helped uh, back when you first arrived in New Laszlo. And uh, he looks a little bit different. He is uh, currently uh, in a wheelchair, uh, and he is missing his left arm. Uh, He is being wheeled towards you by a very pleasant-looking older woman. Uh, She has very, very long, wispy gray hair that's tied up in several buns uh, behind her head. She's wearing these long flowing crimson and purple robes and although she does look a little aged like she has crow's feet around her the corners of her eyes and her mouth um, and she probably looks like she's maybe 50 or 60 uh, she definitely has a youthful gait about her uh, she doesn't s- act or uh, sound young either in fact her voice is very crisp and clear and refreshing as she introduces herself as Myrna, the uh, proprietor and head healer of Myrna, Myrna's House of Healing. And um, after that just brief introduction and a personal thank you from her uh, for saving uh, Mr. Hanso's life and bringing uh, them uh, here, uh, br- bringing him to her care, uh, Orlando uh, begins to speak, and uh, he says, um, This is sort of embarrassing. Uh, when we first talked, I was certainly not myself. But I realized I have brief memories of the encounter, and you folks probably could have killed me in my own home. Goodness knows that thing inside of me was trying to kill you. The reason why I'm still here is because of you. and I want to thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Patrick would be like, "Um, do we know what the arm thing was? It's Myrna's time uh, to shake uh, shake her head. And she says, yes, with the few uh, days and the weeks of of treatment here for Mr. Hanso, we're able to get some sort of idea of what happened. Turns out there was a traveling merchant that was was selling uh, what it seemed very harmlessly, some small dragon-like reptiles as personal pets to the passers-by. Unbeknownst to most of us, he was also selling some sort of parasitic creature. Um, Mr. Hanso purchased such creature um, under the table, so to speak, from this traveling merchant. And uh, the creature ended up being an alien parasite that attached itself to his flesh. With psychic probing, we were able to find out that the parasite's name was Prexir. And although granting Mr. Hanso incredible strength and speed, it was slowly consuming his very body. Unfortunately, uh, or I guess I should say fortunately enough, we were able to stop Prexir, uh, kill him, and remove him from the host body, 
but unfortunately in doing so, despite my best efforts and the efforts of the fine doctors over at St. Joseph's, we had to remove Mr. Hanzo's arm. Thankfully, he is going to be fitted later today for a cybernetic um, attachment, an equivalent arm for him, so he can resume his normal life. But I certainly hope that sufficient, sufficiently answers your question. Well, more than enough. Hmm. And Patrick will go off in his own mind, space parasite. <laughs> <laughs>